Hey there, Parker Reed here, and welcome to PR Media, your home for everything movies and music, through my eyes. And today we have a review of the new 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray edition of The Lord of the Rings Trilogy. The Lord of the Rings is a film series of three epic fantasy adventure films directed by Peter Jackson, based on the novel written by J.R.R. Tolkien. The films are subtitled The Fellowship of the Ring, released in 2001, The Two Towers, released in 2002, and The Return of the King, released in 2003. The films feature an ensemble cast including Elijah Wood, Ian McKellen, Liv Tyler, Viggo Mortensen, Sean Astin, Kate Blanchett, John Rice davies Christopher Lee, Billy Boyd, Dominic Moynihan, Orlando Bloom, Hugo Weaving, Andy Serkis, and Sean Bean. The Lord of the Rings trilogy might just be the most anticipated 4K set to ever hit the medium. They are three epic fantasy films. All three of them are three plus hours long, and it remains one of the most popular trilogies of all time. And I'm a little ashamed to say I only saw the extended versions for the first time this year in theaters when they came out during the COVID-19 pandemic because they weren't showing any new releases, so they were showing some catalog titles, so I watched all three extended versions for the first time. Of course, I saw the theatrical versions prior to that, and I had seen bits and pieces over the years, but this is my second time watching all three extended versions, and I have to say I like this trilogy a lot more. I don't love it as much as some other people do. Some people live and die by these. Some people consider this trilogy like the Bible or something, but I appreciated them much more the second time around. I think the craftsmanship that went into these movies was absolutely phenomenal. Sure, there's some CGI in here that doesn't look as good as it did upon initial release just because it's aged, but the practical effects, the scenery, and everything else in this is absolutely breathtaking, and I really appreciate the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and I'm glad I got to revisit it again. But today we're going to be talking about these 4K transfers, so let's see what you'll get if you decide to pick up the Lord of the Rings trilogy on 4K. So if you decide to pick up the Lord of the Rings trilogy on 4K Ultra HD, here is the standard packaging that you'll get. This is the version that I bought. I was going to buy the Steelbooks, but of course they sold out on pre-order from Best Buy, so this is the version that most people will be getting. So it features some great artwork here on the cover, and it is a nice matte finish. And on the back, we have some information about the movies with some still images and some technical specs. And then when you take off the slip case, it is the same imagery on the front and the back of the case itself. And if you would like that download code, it is first come first serve on that. So it's pretty basic packaging here. Every one of the theatrical versions comes on its own disc, and then the extended versions are split up into two discs each. And they are not stacked, thankfully. And they are all in these various kind of turn case here. And I will say that while this packaging is pretty nice, I did have a few instances where I was taking discs out where they were just kind of laying there in the case like that. So you see that it's not perfect and they don't snap in there extraordinarily well. So be wary of that. It's not the greatest packaging in the world. You might be better off with some steelbooks if you can get your hands on them. So all three of these movies are on 4K Ultra HD, and this is native 4K, and they are widescreen, so you will get black bars at the top and the bottom. And from a visual standpoint, this might just be one of the best 4K images I've ever seen. Sure, some of the CGI isn't going to look as good as it did upon release in the early 2000s, simply because it's aged. It's over 15 years old at this point. You cannot expect perfection, but everything else was near perfection. The scenery in these movies is absolutely phenomenal. They're so varied. You can go from snow-capped mountains to the fields of New Zealand to the fires of Mount Doom. It is phenomenal. You can see the detail in everyone's faces and everyone's clothes. There were times when they would do a close-up of Frodo's face, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks like he's sitting right next to me. I can see every pore in his face, every strand of his hair. It looked great. I really have no complaints there. Fire is blinding. The rain looks damp. The HDR here does great work because there's lots of scenes at night, especially the Battle of Helm's Deep. You can see everything much more clearly than you could on the Blu-ray discs and especially the DVD discs. Don't even get me started on the DVDs. But this is the best these films have ever looked, obviously. I mean, this is at 4K Ultra HD. Of course, you're going to be able to see more, but it is so noticeable, I would recommend you you pick it up just from a visual standpoint expect greatness from this because these films are great so the picture better look great and it certainly does and then for audio in the lord of the rings trilogy on 4k we have dolby atmos Thank you very much, and the score for these three films is some of the best work that's ever been done for music scores, and it sounds great here. When they do like the acapella songs in a few of the latter movies, it was breathtaking. It brought a tear to my eye, and the score throughout is sweeping, it's epic, and it totally immerses you in the world of Middle Earth. And to say your speakers are going to get a workout would be putting it lightly because the subwoofer is going to be rocking, and all of your different speakers are going to be going. My soundbar and my subwoofer sounded amazing throughout this watch-through, and I was pleasantly surprised by the audio because 
sometimes when you have films that are this long, they might take a few shortcuts to get it done because the shortest movie is like three hours and 45 minutes and then Return of the King is over four hours. So it's a lot to go through, but they took their time. They restored it from native 4K and the audio sounds fantastic here. You never have to squint your ears to hear what anybody is saying. You can always hear dialogue and it was immaculate. So should you pick up the Lord of the Rings trilogy on 4K Ultra HD? Obviously, this is one of the best trilogies to ever come out, and the only negative spot that I could point to is some of the CGI looks a bit dated, but these films are over 15 years old. Of course, it's going to look a little bit dated, but it isn't so noticeable that it takes you out of the film or anything, but it is something I wanted to address. These aren't 100% perfect, and nothing really is perfect, so this is about as perfect as 4K can offer. It is a great set. It's pretty reasonably priced, so make sure you pick up the Lord of the Rings trilogy on 4K Ultra HD. It's a day one pickup for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw here, you can check us out on Facebook or Instagram, and like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose. My name is Parker Reed. You've been watching PR Media. Keep supporting physical media, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. We cannot achieve victory through strength of arms. Not for ourselves, but we can give Frodo a chance.